Venom. Spider-Man 2. Not the new one, but the old one. It's the one based on the movie starring Tobey Maguire and Dr. Octopus. But there's more. Along with graceful, acrobatic, freeform web swinging, there's intense combat with more combos than the Little Caesars menu. And when it comes to the story, there's obviously the main movie plot, but layered throughout that are mind-blowing subplots featuring characters such as Black Cat, Rhino, Shocker, and Mysterio. I know this all sounds impossible, but trust me, it's not. Give us the case and you won't get hurt! <laughs> In order to progress in the story, you gotta earn hero points by fighting crime. Spidey, wait up! Someone's car's being stolen! Which is convenient because the crime rate in the city is astronomical. Every five seconds there's a carjacking, an armored car holdup, a police standoff, construction workers that keep slipping into this falling position. I don't know how they keep getting there. <laughs> and even chasing down and destroying someone's car for road rage. You destroyed my car! Don't drive angry. We gotta keep the streets clean. A more rare encounter is when they're like, help, that person needs to be taken to a hospital. And the person's like, ow, I can't move. And that's the same exact person. Sometimes the city folk trick you. Hey, Spidey, is your refrigerator running? And now I'm being swarmed by street level bad guys. Which brings us to the advanced combat system. <laughs> It's not just your average everyday punch and kicks. We're talking about a moveset so complex that I couldn't bother figuring it all out. I've been dying to see what you can do. Your spidey senses warn you of incoming attacks, and if timed correctly, you can counter effectively. Uh, that was Rhino, by the way. He makes a quick appearance. Countering becomes overpowered with the spin kick upgrade, which was my personal favorite move to do, alongside the jump slam move that reminded me of Yoshimitsu's move in Tekken. But that's not all, folks. You can really shake things up with your webs. Get over here! <laughs> Enemies overwhelming you? Well, you can jump in the air and sling them up to fight alone. Or simply just toss them to the side for fun. Or you could even be a little cowboy and just fucking lasso them around. <laughs> uh, hey, uh, I almost forgot some things. I didn't mention that you could deliver to pizza. Everyone got their pizzas. And besides jumping off the Empire State Building and possibly killing yourself, you can run on walls. You can slide on walls. You can do acrobatic spin jumps that look really cool and then land on a car. Yeah. Anyways, let's talk plot. Besides MJ, there's another love interest, Black Cat. And you'd think she's a smooth criminal due to her being present in a few robberies and also having to chase her around for like 10 minutes. But in reality, she's just living on the edge. She's always like, let's fight crime. Show time, baby. The crime in question comes by the hand of a man I've never heard of, Shocker. Spider-Man! Apparently I locked him up in the first game and he's broken free to get revenge. And he's a rather simple fellow with a shockwave heavy attack that you just got to avoid and that's pretty much it. But oh no, he hurt Black Cat. He then lures us to his shock chamber. About time you losers got here. Where his shields are in big need of disabling. And like pressing triangle over a rail in a Tony Hawk game, it was a grind. But like January 2nd, I gave him the old one-two. Shocker's been taken care of, and our relationship is getting stronger. She's pretty amazing, don't you think, Shock? Alas, all good things must come to an end. I don't think I can see you anymore. I personally don't agree with it, but we must carry on. The coolest villain plot is Mysterio, starting with VFX artist Quentin Beck challenging me to a criminal collection contest with real criminals donated from the local penitentiary. I was out there collecting prisoners like garbage pail kids. If you ever collected those things back in the day, uh, here's a good one. Uh. Now my victory set him off in a tirade, birthing the alien leader Mysterio, who set the cinema ablaze, putting all the patrons in danger. But I'm Spider-Man, so I saved them, of course. He then takes over the Statue of Liberty for a quick moment, before challenging me to meet him in his fortress. Come to my hidden fortress. Oh boy, this can't be good. Which at first just seems to be a modest apartment. Oh, but it's not that. Welcome, Spider-Man! It's probably the best part of the game just because this big mansion's all funky. He's got wobbly clowns with axes looking to chop me, like chives. But more importantly, there's funky alternate Spider-Man that come out of these funhouse mirrors. All the sounds are distorted, everything's all weird. It was a little creepy, but I give it a 10 out of 10, two thumbs up. And after all that, all we find is a hologram of Mysterio. I should have known. Although we do eventually encounter the alien leader himself while he's robbing a convenience store. I will destroy you utterly. Just look at this complex health bar. It's rising like the price of eggs. Time for the big boss fight. You have trifled with my- Which is only one punch because he's just a VFX guy. I actually really like this detail. Say cheese. Quentin Beck, taken care of. Although everyone hates me now because Jameson framed me as the accomplice. Need a hand? Don't hurt me! Then of course, just like the movie, there's the main plot where I've been so busy being Spider-Man that I'm slacking heavily in my Peter Parker life. Mary Jane has drifted away and found a new man. I'm seeing someone now. Really? 
while Harry's been hating Spider-Man for killing his father. But he has been working with Dr. Otto Octavius, my hero. He's got these cool metal arms that are the key to sustained fusion. Amazing. This sounds like a great advancement for humankind. Until things go awry. A minor hiccup. And the blast kills Otto's wife. I don't know how she would die from that. So I gotta disable the containment field, which is really f annoying. But I succeeded and escaped. In the meantime, the doc has escaped the hospital after killing all the surgeons, and is now on foot slapping around Dr. Connors. And with Jameson coining the name Dr. Octopus, Dr. Octopus says, I need money. Coincidentally, at the same time, Aunt May and I are making a withdrawal. We're looking to get our racks up. Fight ensues, and after landing a few shots on him, he scoops up Aunt May and takes her into the helicopter for a ride to the train tracks to be eviscerated. This guy's a real jerk. But I'm Spider-Man, so I swoop in and save her, just in time. Now his next move is to secure the tritium from Harry, but only in exchange for a live Spider-Man, because Harry wants to stab him. Go find Peter Parker, he says. He knows Spider-Man. Don't hurt him, though. So following my confession of love to MJ, she invites me out for coffee to talk over some things. Which was the perfect opportunity for the doc to infiltrate and extract MJ as spider lore. A ransom, rather. And he goes right for his bread and butter, the train tracks, where we battle it out on the rooftop. This fight was intense. Like a hotel pool, it was heated. But I squeaked by, like a mouse, looking for cheese. Now I must stop this train before it derails and kills everyone inside. Although successful, my fatigued body is ripe for collecting. So the doc delivers me to Harry for the tritium. A pleasure doing business with you one final time, Osborne. Harry then unmasks me and he's like, Peter? I didn't know you were Spider-Man. And I'm like... I can explain. I must save Mary Jane. So he tells me where the doctor is performing his final procedure at the pier. I'm going to kill you. The only way to subdue this man is via combat. My brain was fried at this point, and I had such a hard time dodging his tentacles. Like when you're at Olive Garden and the server brings out calamari, then slips and falls. You will tear your legs off. <laughs> Dr. Octavius, Dr. Otto, Dr. Octavius, his octopus arms will put you in harm, and then I will use my spidery charm to save you from them. His octopus tentacles, I'm not calamari, his octopus tentacles, Dr. Octavius, Dr. Otto. Dr. Octavius, Dr. Otto, Dr. Octavius, Dr. Otto, Dr. Octavius, I'm losing brain cells, I'm trying to sing like a band that I once heard, whoa, I am a songbird. Got the win, got the girl, we did it. And that's the video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed it, why don't you drop a like down below? Maybe even a comment. And better yet, why don't you check out one of these videos that I'm showing right here? It would mean the world to me. I've also started a shorts channel. It's just clips from these videos, so if you don't really care, don't worry about it. But if you want to see some short clips that I put of these videos, go over there. Anyways, I appreciate the love and support I get every video. You guys are great. And that's about it for me. His metal arms will put you in harm.